Hello everyone, welcome back to Salasta, Crown of the Magister. Last time we left the fire and found the acid, poison, necrotic energy. Pick your favourite. And we fought our way across these lands and now have another fun blue rectangle to hop on into. And we've changed to mystical blue swirly tiles. Are we walking into some gigantic trap? The Sorax are doing all they can to stop us. Come on, don't falter now. All right, first, get cautious. So back here, it's simply enough four air elementals. Now, I think our worst threat here is being pushed off to our deaths. But with no cover or other available constructions, we don't really have any option about it. So my hope is that we will be able to get close enough stealthing that something like a thunderbolt will be able to hit at least three of these guys but we'll see about that in just a moment as we creep on up of course gothic has the really big spells but is also the squishiest and I would like the rest of the party not to be too far behind really as difficult as that is to maneuver everybody in a long line here's the moment of judgement we've got too close and too very far so depending on how fast they dash this could be a moment to let things strike we use our arcane shock when we attack we can ensure that these numbers are all above average don't say I'm surprised okay that didn't work out right faith is up first Faith's MO at this point. Ready a melee attack for when they get closer to us. Ah, I won't miss next time. Damn. Even with Halfling Lucky, we rolled an awful one to a one. That's a bad time. Gothic. We are here in chains. So let's cast lightning. Oh, we're, our friends are in front of us. I did not think about this. We are unable to move. So instead, it's going to be a fireball for these two. They both succeed taking 14, which is not awfully strong. Kite. So we can see that when they're in the area of effect, they turn this glassy blue as opposed to the darker stony blue. And by raising the height of the spell, we can indeed get all three of them in just here, I believe, without getting any of ourselves in the blast zone. We were in our own blast zone, and I'm mad about it.
All right, pastel. We are not focusing on daylight any longer. I guess we lose the spell when we come through the areas, perhaps. Uh, but for us right now, it's going to be a fourth level Spirit Guardians. Faith's back at the top of the order. There's the sneak attack we so desperately needed. Took 14 radiant damage. And they hit Kite for 25, which is, I think, the first melee attack he's taken. Right. Gothic. We can probably finish off this air elemental with a well-placed spell. Except we have disadvantage because this guy is right up next to us. Now, I know this just screwed us over. Cannot get them both in a shatter, unfortunately. So, let's go for a second level magic missile. And we'll try and ensure the death of that guy and help along with the other. About as well as that could go. Good misses against Kite. Uh, attack of opportunities. Faith definitely will, because it will be a sneak attack. And Gothic, why not? Alright, they're dead. So, in theory, Gothic should still have his reaction if he needed to counterspell for something. Kite. We're going to stay next to our allies here. We could heal ourselves, but I'm going to save that for real emergencies. Instead, we're just going to ready a melee attack action. Pastel. We can go with cantrips. Man, everything saves so well now. Oh, it looks like they dashed to us. There's our readied action. They also took uh, radiant damage. Faith will be able to sneak attack here. Or not. Let's cunning action, disengage, take a step back. Gothic. Cantrips, please. Two ones. Excellent going, my dude. This is not going as well as the last two rooms. Really not. There's a good 10 radiant damage. By the time their turn comes back round, they should die to the spirit guardians. Love it when a plan comes together. Faith. Keep doing what you're doing. Gothic. No reason to change things up either at this point. Try again. Kite. 
kite's turns are mostly self-prescribing. Pastel backs up with cantrips. They take radiant damage. Attack kite, miss. Do it twice, miss again. And then we repeat the whole process. Except now, Faith can't get a sneak attack, which is really lame. But we'll attack nonetheless. And we miss anyway. Disengage. Putting Kite back at the front. Gothic is definitely going to hit a crit right now. It was a critical miss. I should have specified. I should have specified. No, I will not smite out of frustration. Not when we don't need it. Take that. We're going to be okay. AoE damage. Okay. Now, we have this Spirit Guardians for 10 odd minutes. But I don't know if that will last going through the blue haze the big blue rectangle at the end of the room but I've got no reason to suspect we're going to be ambushed given we could see all the enemies prior so we have enough time to once again progress through the mysterious blue void into the largest creature's skull I have ever seen. Goodness grief, you could miss that if you weren't paying attention. Now before we just hop through, I am going to take a moment to heal Kite in some capacity. We have mass cure wounds, but we're not all that damaged, I don't think. And it's only 3d8 plus ability. Otherwise, we have mass healing word. That's definitely not the tool for the job. Cure wounds is only 1d8 plus ability. So it's either going to be a short rest, if we're even able to. Or... Potions, perhaps? Do we have much in the way of spare healing potions? 2d4 plus 2 is not really cutting it. We can, of course, lay on hands for up to 50 HP, but that's such a powerful one-time big hit. I'd like to hold on for it. Also, I totally forgot we had these things going. So, let's attempt... No, I don't want to attempt a short rest because... We have Spirit Guardians for six more minutes. Although that said, when we go through this thing, it's probably going to drop anyway. So let's take a short rest here in the strange void. Kite, big rolls, please. That's a good one. That's fine. That's fine. One more. That's a good one. Okay. There's up to 70. There's up to 70. All right, that's good. We could Arcane Recovery now. We would get back a third level spell slot and a second level spell slot. Seems as good a time as any, unless we want to save it for trying to get a fifth level spell slot back. But I think doing this now is adequate. Totally forgot earlier we could have, um, against those undead creatures, we could have turned undead and the like. But, you know, these are the things that I forget I can even do because I never use these skills 
and I'm bad. But we progress. This is the creepy old manor we've seen in various depictions previously. Oh. Okay. It is the manor, but the geometry... Very trippy. Alright, well, first of all, we all get cautious. Then we just start navigating what we can here. I guess we're just climbing vertically here. With the help of an rock. Don't know what that is. Just a graphical error, I guess. Right. Stones and broken stuff. Cliff tops. Pots. Evident which way we're needing to travel. And we're going the long way. Hopefully nothing kicks off in the interim. Okay. Well, let's just get the whole party in one place anyway. And we'll keep clearing the debris, picking through what little treasure we do find. Because who knows when we f might find something that saves our lives. Like a potion of fr giant frost strength. That's definitely the sentence I wanted to say. Uh, potion of greater healing and 20 flash bolts. 1d6 radiant damage saved for half. Definitely seems worth the trip we just made for it. Uh, no, 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 no. If he's going to push that stone... Oh, I thought he was going to push it on top of this one. I was going to be like, do not crush your friends with that giant boulder. That would be a bad time. Right, does that let everyone else back up? We're all able to get here one way or another. That's fine, even if we have to wait a moment. A shorter moment for you than for me. Let's check out these pots as well. Scroll of Revivify. Another potion of greater healing and a potion of superior healing. Let's give that to Gothic since he's the squishy one. Is that the sound of magical lights turning on? More potions. Flash arrows for radiant damage. Alright, let's swap these out for those for now then. Kite. Can you make it up here? You can. There's another container for us. More things to keep us alive in this godforsaken place. I guess if you forgot to do things like bring extra ammunition or healing supplies, they're really letting you have your best chance of success. Silver Chalice. A valuable item you can sell at a shop. Probably not some random magic item then. Bring yourself to back down, buddy. We'll have somebody try and push this thing in the meantime. And since you are our athletic one, you can hop down here to these pots as well. Let's 
scroll of mass healing word goes to pastel since she can cast that spell another potion of greater healing then if we can get everyone up to here we will there's a chest and then another big blue rectangle so this is the first pass we've made it seems unless something is about to change immediately without its own combat you know just some light relief full of supplies before you get into the great big boss fight beyond perhaps potion of greater healing scroll of mass cure wounds another one for pastel then we can all collect up here nothing else up in the sky and so i invite you to please join me tomorrow where we will see where the next big mystery blue rectangle takes us thank you ever so much for watching if you're enjoying the series please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button if you have any questions or comments you can put them down below otherwise i'll see you in the next one cheers